What's up guys, welcome back to Planet Coaster. Last time we played, we built this little pirate ship here with some scenery and some cool nighttime lighting effects on the, the sunken ship around it. Um, and we also built this island over here along with another path leading out. Um, I'm thinking this time around, we're going to go ahead and do what I had previously mentioned and build a log flume ride over on this island using the bank or the water of the lake um, as kind of a illusion to make you feel like you're actually on the water depending on how close we can get so let's just go to uh, I think, oh, it was a track ride yep and log flume and uh, okay now where are we gonna put this I think, I think something like this, so that way, like, it's off to the side a little bit, and it immediately kind of goes into the, the water. Can I, I can't lower any more than that, but I suppose that'll work. Something like that. Can I, ooh, even something like that would go well. Yes, let's do that. Let's do that. But I'm not going to make the same mistake that I did with the roller coaster this time I'm going to make the uh, station just a little bit longer there we go and then we'll go ahead and have just a regular track piece it's gonna be well, if you hear barking in the background that's my dog being loud and obnoxious but uh I'll just go ahead I'm also gonna like put like trees and stuff because I don't want people seeing the island necessarily so it's going to be like a relatively relaxing little ride for a little bit. Kind of make it curve because I'm going to put like, you know, stuff all around it. And now we'll go ahead and have it start cranking up a little bit. About like that. If that dog doesn't be quiet, I swear to God. Alright, I don't even know if you can hear him, but more than likely you can. Let's go ahead and then make this go on up. Something like that. Log flumes don't need to have ridiculously tall drops. There we go. I mean, a 45 meter drop for a log flume ride is pretty good, I would say. Go ahead and make it turn this way like that make it kind of swerve a little bit more and then we'll go ahead and start the drop about here I should have like the Kraken sticking out of the water over here kind of make it a little hashtag spooky and uh, okay drop midsection boom can I make that longer I don't want it to be there we go and where's the drop drop end Boom. And then where's the splash pool at? Where's the splash pool at? No, it's there. Oh. Okay, I think I think it's too low to the water right here. So I gotta end it just just a little bit before. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. So it's like that. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Boom. 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 And then splash down end. There we go. That's kind of cool. We go ahead and kind of have it go back this way. Oh, should I? Oh, I should make it go like all the way around. But that'd be a really long ride if I make it go all the way around the the water. Plus it might get in the way in the future, or all the way around the island. Plus it might get in the way in the future with um, connecting the islands together. Because I will eventually have the islands, you know, be connected. So I'm just going to go back this way like that. Like that. I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit of a, a boring ride, but... And again, it's a log flume. Maybe I should have it crank up here for one more drop. 
Yeah, let's do that. Let's have it crank over here. Wait, no, I don't want to start drop. There we go. That's what I want to do. And let's have it go. I wish I could go steeper than that, but really can't. So we'll have it. I'll have it. I don't want anything too tall. That's as short as I can make that. Okay. Now we'll just go ahead and uh, start drop here. Why would that let me put that there? Look at that. That's interesting. Alright, so I don't think this is going to go into a splashdown. It's not that tall of a drop anyways. It's it's only about 40 meters versus the 45 back there. So it's, it's a little bit shorter. Can I make it? I can't really make it go back up a little bit. It's not a roller coaster after all. There we go. Something like that. Nice and smooth like that. I'll make it shorter. And it kind of... Come back out like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. And then boom. Perfect. Alright, so let's go ahead... And give this a little test right here and see what the specs are like. I don't know what you guys prefer. Um, if you prefer like this view or this view. I typically do this for roller coasters, but I kind of also like getting a little bit of a perspective. This ca this camera sits up a little bit higher, so it's kind of nice. But it's kind of cool. I like sitting close to the water. I wish I could have gotten it a little lower. Because I wanted to give the illusion like you were sitting in the water, but I don't I don't think that was possible. But oh well, I mean it's it is what it is. It looks pretty good. And people water rides typically do very well for some reason in these games. People line up like crazy for them. So I have to make sure to make the queue on this guy a little bit longer, and I definitely need the the priority pass for it. I do wish there's a little bit more options. I know in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 there's an option to like turn the log flume backwards. And that was always kinda cool, especially to like turn it backwards for a drop. That's that that was always kinda cool and I, I took advantage of that quite a bit. Whoa That was pretty good. And like the splash section was perfectly long. These aren't the most entertaining things. I know people typically aren't huge fans of seeing water flumes or just water rides in general being built. But uh, I, I always liked them. I always had a soft spot in my heart for them. But like I said, I wish there was, I wish there was more options for them. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is this part up here. I don't, I don't necessarily like having the second drop here. But I feel like the ride needs to have a little bit more of a thrill aspect to it. And once I start putting in some decorations and rocks and trees and stuff like that, it should look a little more organic. Right now it's just it's just a bare frame. I do kind of like how it gets close to the shore over here. Maybe at one point, it, maybe it should go through like a cave at one point. That'd be kind of cool if I just terraform a cave to make it go through. Though it's not all outside. Just kind of getting ideas as I'm watching this. And I also don't necessarily like that the drop is immediately right here either. It feels a little weird. But. That's not too bad. I'll go ahead and, and end 
the the ride cam because it just kind of loops back around. I want to see how the statistics are for the ride. Um, oh, did it already pass back through? Or did it? Oh, no. Okay, so it restarted the test for some reason. Lovely. But we'll just go ahead and place the entrance and exit for this guy. Entrance down here. Exit right in front of here. And what we'll need to do while it's testing here is we'll need to go ahead and make this pathway a little bit larger. What was this set to? Six, I believe? Yeah, that looks about right. Um, I can always change this later, but I just kind of want it to loop around like that. There. Something like that. And let's go ahead and get this queue going here. And... Yeah, why not? Cobblestone looks cool too here. Let's have the queue kind of go out over the water a little bit like this. And... There we go. That's a pretty long queue and it makes it good for the priority pass. I can just have like a straight shot right here. And as for the exit, what's that look like? Ugh, no thank you. I hate that it changes. That. Like, I wanted that to be like that. Oh wait, the the. Okay. Let's go ahead and just make this. This doesn't need to be six, but whatever. I suppose a wider exit isn't too bad. Boom. Where is the boat? Okay, so it's about to come back. Um, before I open it and any of that, I want to see the test results. But I am going to go ahead and start decorating. So one of the biggest things I want to do is terraform. So I'll go ahead and pull up. Let's have like a small island here. There we go, something like that. Then where is it? Flat into foundation. I want small, so something just kind of like that that I can have some trees on and stuff like that. I think it'll be mostly sand. Something like that. Let's get that smoothing tool out here. Get rid of these jaggies. Okay. And let's go ahead and paint it. We'll make it sand. What do you think? The whole thing? No, the whole thing sand looks weird. Doesn't look like an island anymore. There's a little grass on it. Something like that. There we go. And let's get some trees on it. I want palm trees, so we'll do palm. Gotta have palm trees. One like that. Have like a shorter one. Like that. This one can be taller again. Have it like that. One of these really crazy ones sticking out. Kind of make it kind of go. That's kind of cool. It kind of goes. Yeah, the boat will kind of go under it there a little bit. A couple of short palms. One more like regular palm tree here. Can I. 
can I lower the middle section right there? Terrain. It's like, it's like push this in here. Look at that. That's cool. It gets water back in it. I like that. Oh, I like that. I do want to move this one tree, though. You. Let's move you, like, up here a little bit and lower you down. There we go. That's better. That looks pretty good. Scenery. Um, let's see here. Let's get, like, I wish they had, like, a skeleton of some kind. Because this, this whole park is going to be a little bit pirate-themed, but... Uh, what can I put on this island? Let's see here. Well, I could just have this. Yeah, this works pretty well. Something like that. I don't I don't want it to align the surface, that's bothering me. Hmm. Yeah, something like that. There we go, that's kinda cool too. I like that. That's not too bad. And then I think over here is where I'll have the terraform where it goes through a cave just to kind of give it a little something more. So I'll be back in just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and work on that um, and I'm going to skip through so that way you don't have to watch it. Okay, so I'm back and I did quite a bit of different stuff. I'm not sure I'm completely satisfied. Uh, this area here still feels pretty darn plain. But uh, over here I got this little cool Kraken attack. This is just a default blueprint, but it didn't quite work out. Uh, where I wanted it, the Kraken would raise up into the track. So I actually moved him over to the side, which I think works out okay still. I'm going to use the Kraken. It doesn't matter where his tentacles necessarily are. And it goes into a cave, which I'll show you more in a second here, um, before it goes into its its last drop. It's, it's kind of lacking in theme, um, but I'll definitely be tweaking it a little bit more off camera. I've just been, been working on this for about a half hour, 45 minutes off camera. Um, so I just kind of I, I just wanted to proceed with the episode, but this is what I've, I've come up with so far. It uh, looks like the, it's coming to the very end now. Uh, let me, it's doing the last drop. Then we'll go ahead and give it one more quick ride after the main drop. So let's come back around here. I also have eight boats, so that way it should, in theory, be, you know... Oh, able to keep up with the the crowd that I know this ride is going to be getting. Okay, so when it gets to the top, we'll just go to a normal speed like that, and let's go ahead and hop on it, and we'll take take a little ride. I think it's kind of a, a cool. I'm kind of happy with the the cave itself. I think the cave itself turned out pretty well. Uh, I might tweak it a little bit more, but. In general, I think the cave section is done. I kind of wanted the Kraken to like pop up here, but I feel silly having the Kraken pop up at the bottom of the drop and then have them over here attacking the ship in the same frame, essentially. People can just look left and right and be like, hey, what the... What the... But it looks kind of cool. Um, having the pirates on the boat kind of shooting at the tentacles and stuff. It's, it's neat. You can already see inside the cave there's some stuff going on. I expanded the cave out a little bit larger than it needed to be um, to make room for some animatronics and stuff like that, which turned out pretty well. I like it. Yeah, now if you look over here, you kind of see a little pirate show going on. These dudes are like shooting and duking it out with each other for whatever reason. There's water and stuff spraying. An explosive barrel with some fire. And then it just kind of goes into like a more creepy tone. Um, and the tunnel gets a little smaller. At night this ride really shines. Um, which I'll have to show you that eventually at some point too. But uh, for now I think, I think this is about it. 
And it just cranks up. You know, you know the rest from here. Absolutely love water rides. This one turned out pretty well. Um, it's not the most exciting ride in the world. Although I think after this loop, because I haven't tested it with all these uh, props and stuff yet. Or have I? I don't know. Hopefully it goes up a little bit. Okay, it did. It went up very, very little. But it did go up. It's not scary. So let's go ahead and just open this bad boy up. What is the, the Q rating? The Q rating's at 92%. That's good. And I know people are going to start lining up like crazy for this guy. I don't think I have an information booth anywhere yet. No, I think it'd be a good idea to get information booth because that priority pass. I think I'll put the information booth in the beginning of the park. Just kind of do a default one. I don't really feel like building one. Boom. There. Now people can get their priority passes and their information on their way into the park. Oh yeah. The queue may not be long enough. I thought I, I kind of overdid it, but... Then again, there's a lot of boats. There's a lot of boats, so... It looks like it's it's keeping up. We want to keep those wait times down to keep people happy. There's a lot of people coming to this side of the park. And look at that. Oh, that's kind of sad seeing this, this side of the park almost being forgotten about. Put a lot of work into that. I guess that's just the nature of having this type of setup. Uh, that your park split up so much like this. But anyways, so that's going to do it for this episode. This one kind of ran on a little long. I guess I'm except for the shorter one I did last time. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click the thumbs up button. And subscribe to stay up to date with my latest videos and reviews. And of course, Planet Coaster videos. Well, until next time, guys.